Alrighty, so I'm setting up my first set of three isopod colonies to breed that are not part of an already established terrarium, like my crested gecko terrarium over there. But here's what I'm going to set them up in. It's just a Sterilite um, three bin system, which is basically a cheaper version of the rack systems that people use for their snakes and other things that are much more expensive. And since this is my first one, I just wanted to start out sort of inexpensively, um, just kind of see see how it goes. You can see how, how it's set up with the leaf litter and the sphagnum moss and the bone for some calcium. And we're going to put the three different cultures in and see how they do. So this is the sphagnum moss. Typically for isopods you want to have one edge or one corner moist with some sphagnum moss because they are a crustacean so they, they cannot totally dry out but at the same time it's bad for them to have a completely soaked enclosure so it's typical to leave the rest of it dry. Have an edge with some damp sphagnum moss. This is the leaf litter which is their primary diet. They eat, they're a dentritivore so they eat decaying wood and other matter. And then I have a little bit of the rapashi morning wood uh, diet. It works for both um, fish such as plecos and then uh, isopods, animals that survive off of high cellulose diets, and uh, some cuddle bone for calcium. All right, so this is the first sculpture. These are Porcelio scaver, and uh, they are the koi variety. And the koi variety, they're very variable, so they have different shades of orange, um, black, and white in them. And so each individual looks a little bit different, kind of like a koi fish, so that makes them uh, pretty special. So this is a koi variety of Porcelio scaver. So to protect any babies or small ones that may be in there, I'm going to just kind of tilt it on its side, gently tilt them out, and then just kind of leave this in there for any stragglers to hang out. And there's the first ones. The next culture is um, Armadillidium, and they're a unrecognized species right now, but it's a marbleized variety of Armadillidium. You can see one right there, rolled up. And uh, they're known for their aptly named marbleized appearance, shades of cream and grays and browns. Give them their little marbleized look. And this is the third and last culture, Armadillidium vulgare, Magic Potion. Very Harry Potter-esque. There are these cute little guys. Shades of cream with bright gold dots, as well as little bits of uh, grays and browns. Very cute. And there they go.